Game console repairs. In this video, I'll be showing how to replace an Xbox 360 fat model light on drive uh, with a brand new drive. Suppose uh, your drive doesn't read discs or game freezes during gameplay, doesn't eject feed discs, uh, rail or motor assembly is broken, then the cheapest option is to replace the whole drive with a brand new one. In this video, we'll be showing how to replace the drive without having to purchase any of the special executor tools or any of the Maximus tools. All you need is for you screwdrivers to open up your drive and desolder the PCB from your old broken drive and place it onto the new one. These are the tools required. You need a Phillips 1 screw bit or a screwdriver. You need a Phillips 0 screwdriver. You need a microturn precision screwdriver and lastly you need a soldering iron. Soldering iron is needed uh, to desolder the PCB from your old drive and place it onto the new one. All these tools can be purchased from our online store as well uh, and the brand new light on drive can be purchased from there as well. Um, the concept is exactly the same for all the uh, drives. Suppose if you have a Samsung drive Hitachi drive or you have a BenQ drive. Uh, all you need to do is just purchase the exactly the same drive as your drive model and replace the PCB. Alright, let's get going. Let's open up your Xbox 360. Uh, step one, remove the hard drive. So there's a button here simply push it down and you can lift the hard drive off. Next uh, we'll be removing the faceplate. Uh, all you gotta do is just uh, put your fingers in there and pull it outwards and this comes off. Next uh, we'll be removing uh, this grill here so grab your micro turn uh, precision screwdriver. All we gotta do here is simply um, there are clips that we just need to unclip it. So there's a bit of a guesswork. So and the last one is here. Okay, so this comes off. Next, um, you can simply pull it up from this side and again there are uh, four other clips that's holding the grill so simply okay so that's off the other side Okay, so this comes off. Next, uh, we'll be removing the bottom half. Okay, so grab your Xbox 360 unlock tool set and place it in here. I simply push it, push it, and there you go. So this side is off. Grab the other uh, unlock tool set and uh, follow the same on the other side as well so simply push it and this is separated so this comes off next uh, grab your micro turn precision screwdriver and simply uh, there are these one two three four clips here so simply Just lift them up. And the last one is here. Okay, now we are able to separate the bottom cover. So this comes off. Next, uh, remove the eject button. So all you gotta do is just. Oh, this comes off. Um, next, in our power to separate the top half, we have to take 
out the four Torx T10 screws. So there are six long, sorry, six long Torx uh, T10 screws. So simply take them off. Um, now we are able to simply uh, lift off our top cover so all you gotta do is just lift it up so this comes off next uh, let's remove the DVD drive so grab your microphone precision screwdriver all you gotta do is just take the solder cable off take that off and if there is any sticker um, here simply take that off as well and check out the DVD drive. Uh, remove the power cable, and our DVD drive is separated. Okay, step one let's remove the PCB from your old broken DVD drive. Take your clips. One, two, three, four. And one of these four screws. One, two, three, four. Simply remove the bottom plate. Okay, next uh, we're gonna be desoldering the PCB. This bit uh, we're gonna be desoldering these all these wires. There are six wires that we have to desolder. Okay, uh, firstly let's remove the all the ribbon cables. Next, let's take hot soldering iron and desolder the PCB. Okay. Even the last one. Okay, all these wires have been desoldered. Next, take your Phillips screw down and move these two screws located here. Still attached to uh, get off. Okay, the PCB from your old broken DVD drive have been desoldered. Now all we need a brand new drive that you can purchase from our online store and we're gonna remove the PCB from this drive and place this one onto this one 
and you have a brand new DVD drive for your Xbox 360. Okay, let's open this one up and solder this PCB onto this one. Okay, this is our brand new DVD drive. Let's open it up and remove its existing PCB and place our original PCB onto this drive and we are good to go. Open up these four screws using your Phillips one screwdriver. comes off, take the bottom plate off, ok, once again, remove your these three ribbon cables, remove the lens cable, remove your rail cable, these are just clips, so simply unclip them, don't try to forcefully uh, take off the ribbon cables, so you'll end up breaking the connectors or you know uh, breaking the cables simply unclip them okay now we're gonna once again desolder these six wires uh, easiest is I always mark the second one because there are two white ones and then there are two yellow ones so mark them uh, just so you know where they go it controls the, your mechanical elements here just simply mark them instead of finding the hole and tracking down the old wires okay let's get your soldering iron and desolder these six points firstly I'm just going to take out these six wires from in place Desolder one by one. Get your hot soldering iron, simply take it off. It's desoldered. Okay, all the wires are off. Next, simply remove these two screws using your Phillips Zero screwdriver. Uh, there's a clip here. Just unclip it. This comes off. Okay, now this is our original PCB from our Xbox 360. What are we gonna do? We're gonna solder this back into this new drive, uh, and we have a brand new Xbox 360 light on drive that you can use. Okay, let's put our original PCB back onto our new Xbox 360 DVD drive. Firstly, Let's get your soldering iron and fix up the PCB a bit. Remove the excess solder. Okay, that's all good. Next, let's put this PCB back in its spot. Next, let's screw these two small 
Phillips screws. Next, let's put back all the ribbon cables, unclip the connectors first, simply put the cable back in its place and clip back in. Lastly, the ribbon cable. Laser ribbon cable, sorry. Okay, that's on. Alright, now we're gonna solder these six wires back onto the PCB. Firstly, it's simply just take all of these out. It says that over here black, red, white, white, then the, then the two yellow cables. Okay, get your soldering iron. Let's solder this back on to the PCB. So the black one first. Then comes the red one. Then comes the two white one. I have marked uh, the white and the yellow cables, which goes in the second bit here. So unmarked white cable first. Access there, that's fine. Unmarked yellow cable first. It's a bit hard to use your soldering iron from this angle actually, otherwise, it's an extremely simple and easy process. And then the last marked white cable. I'm not using the iron from this angle. <laughs> okay, that's all connected. Simply push the wires back in its spot. Okay, let's put the bottom plate on. And simply screw these four Phillips screws in there.
there you go you have a brand new light on drive ready for your Xbox 360 um, so we have replaced the PCB uh, and placed it onto the new drive without um, having to use any of the executor tools or any of the DVD key extraction tools or any of the Maximus tools this is by far the simplest and the easiest process in order to get your Xbox 360 DVD drive working uh, let's put it back in the Xbox 360 and test it out and see if it all, it all works ok now that we have placed the PCB onto our new Xbox 360 light on drive uh, let's put it back together and test it out and see if it all works I'm going to insert a disc. And the game is read successfully. This concludes our test. Thank you. Next, let's place our drive back into the Xbox 360. So connect the power cable and then connect the SATA cable. Next, place your top Next, uh, we'll be placing the eject button. Simply do a quick test, see if it's functioning. Next, we'll be placing the six Torx screws. Next, let's place the bottom cover. Next, let's place our um, fan grills here. So simply align it place the other one as well next connect your hard drive Next, place your faceplate. That's it, all done.